Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video, we're going to look at how we can add a recurring holiday into our project calendar and therefore our project schedule. So when we think about recurring holidays, we're naturally going to think of the likes of Christmas and kind of any other bank holiday that has a recurring pattern to it. So it happens on a specific day of the month each time or, or something along them lines. But this could also be that it's just a, a project non-working day. So maybe every other Monday you don't do any work on this project. Uh, maybe you're working on different projects. The company may work. But for some reason every other Monday there is no work on this project. And there may be a reason for that. I mean, we can include that in our schedule as a recurring non-working day in the same manner but as an example I'm gonna pick on Christmas Day here uh, as it is celebrated in the UK on the 25th of December every year there's a clear pattern to that so for this I'm going for the project tab and the change working time button so I get this dialog box appear to make edits to the standard project calendar this base calendar that has been chosen for our project and in the exceptions tab along the bottom I'm going to enter a name for this non-working day this exception which I'm going to call Christmas Day that is what it is and I'm going to select the date from the right hand side here in the start cell so and actually that's the 25th December it's a Thursday this year but this is at the moment, it's just one occurrence. It's a kind of ad hoc non working day, sort of how you'd enter them. So I'm going to go for this details button on the right hand side, where it has already been chosen as a non working time. But I'm going to select a recurrence pattern and choose yearly. So it's recognised that this happens on the same day every year. And then we've got the range of recurrence. And I'm going to up that to 10. You can choose any number there. But I'm looking to maybe save this calendar to a template or something long term. So that if we're frequently creating new projects. We have multiple projects on the go. Then you know our project managers or whoever's involved with this. Do not have to keep on entering these non-working time as they set up these projects. This can be done when in advance because there is a recurring pattern and we can tell this to project uh, and then save this calendar for long term use. So I'll leave that as 10, click OK. If I scroll through this calendar in the top half, we can see that the 25th is recognised as an exception, as a non working day there. And if I scroll through a bit further, I can see that in 2015, no surprise. The 25th occurring on a Friday there, but still recognised as a non-working day uh, if you have projects, or maybe this project, lasting that long. Okay, let me click OK at the bottom to save and close that, so it applies it to this project. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargard.com if you did, or subscribe to this channel to see the latest and greatest in their video tutorials on Microsoft Office.